you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been raining everywhere. But you're good. Good. Felix, how are you? How was your week? Uh, my week? Mm, fine, teacher. All right. How are your weekend? What do you do on the, the weekend? Well, mm, I stay in my home. You stay at home? Mm, yes, only. Only, well, it was raining, right? Every day. Yes. You are also in Acapulco, right? Yes. What is your neighborhood? Well, in my neighborhood, um, we doesn't have a lot of a lot of things for the for do. Okay, we don't have a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. No, we doesn't. We doesn't. We doesn't. No, sorry. no, no. So you don't say we doesn't. We don't. Ah, we don't. Sorry. We don't. Doesn't remember is on he, she, or it. All right, okay. let's, let's, uh, well, thank you everybody and welcome again one more time. Today is uh, Monday, June, June 28th. Great. And um, we are almost at the end, as I say, every week. We finish, uh, we finish um, unit 11. Let's do some reminder, but let me ask other people. Alejandro, how was your weekend? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Yes, good. But how was your weekend? I what did you do? Did, I did working. I worked in the yes. You don't have to say did. I worked. Uh, I only I only three days I'm work. You work only three days? Yeah, in the week, trabajo three days, únicamente a la semana. Yes. All right, let's see, we have more people coming. Uh, Frida Sofia, I don't know who that is. Uh, who did? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How was your weekend? Okay, my weekend was okay, teacher. I besides it was raining here. Uh, what's okay? I, I stay here with my family and watch some movies. All right. What's okay? Yeah, oh, you know the rainy rainy days. The weather conditions all over yes. Mexico, right? So the weather yes. is like you know to be at home with some maybe chocolate, maybe coffee. I don't know. Yes, maybe okay. just watch, watching TV, a little bit cozy, you know, with a a blanket. Well, yeah. actually, Acapulco was kind of chilly this weekend, right? Yes. It wasn't cold, but it was a little chilly that you need a a light jacket. So. Something yeah. unusual in Acapulco. Yeah. But thank you, everyone. And uh, let's review. Let's review what we did last week. Give me just one second. As you know, we finished 11, uh, unit 11. Well, um, you have to remember, you have to keep up with unit. 10, 11, and 12, because that's the, the three units, three units, the three last units um, for the exam, right? The final exam. Remember, we are finishing uh, Dustin uh, 3, so we have to do a review. After the exam, we have to do a review of uh, all the units together, like some specific topics. Please start writing your, your questions. The same, start practicing your uh, vocabulary. Because uh, 
we have some questions for you for the final exam. It's very important your fluently, your fluency, and that you pay attention to the question besides the, the written exam, of course. This is gonna be like the last, the final project for you. So we saw you need 10. You check, uh, you check especially the grammar. The grammar is, is very important. All right, I'm scrolling down the pages so you can see what we have seen so far. I hope you review this vocabulary notebook. Remember, you have extra, extra resources in the book. Besides the online book, I don't know if, you, if any of you have checked it before, the Cambridge platform. All right, who has checked it? Who, who checked the Cambridge platform? Who says me? Anyone? Who checked? Who went online to check the book? The online book. Anyone? Do you do you understand the question? Yes. Yes. Who who went online to check the book? It's a different way of asking the same. We have a Cambridge platform, you know, right? You have a, a user and you have a password. Did you have a chance to take a look? Yes. Remember we have the PDF here. This is the PDF, the normal book. We have an online book. Did you check it? Teacher. Teacher. Mm. Uh, me, I have a problem with my book online, but uh, I have been communication with teacher Maru. Uh-huh. What did he say? Uh, I, wa I was asking teacher Maru because uh, I cannot to write like a code. So did you say something that she's, uh, they're gonna fix it or something? Yes, yes. Uh, I I told to teacher Maru my problem. Okay. But yes, she's trying to help me. That's fine. What about you, uh, Gloria? Have you gone online to check the book? Teacher. Uh, yes, Felix. I don't I don't understand how to enter the online book. Did you did you get a password and a username from, mm. from the school? From the school, they have to give you a number or a passcode. They have my. <laughs> they might have sent it to you online. I mean, on your email. Okay. If you don't have it, you need to check with Miss Maru. Okay. Because it's very important you keep updated with the other book and this book. In the other book, you have activities, you have games, you have exercises, etc. Okay, let's 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 start this lesson. Well, we have to review unit eleven. We saw lesson A, B, C, and D, and we we'll start talking about speculating or speculations, right? Using mass, may, might, etc. We discuss this lesson, we practice the exercises, the grammar with must be, could be, maybe, I hope you remember. We talk about ups and downs. 
uh, about adjectives ending in ed and ing. So we learn new vocabulary. We talk about the pronunciation of the different adjectives. Same exercises, um, grammar, lesson C as well, still continuing with mask and with adjectives, same, same pattern. You see and I see. Making an impression that was lesson D. We talk about El Sistema. We discuss the reading comprehension, the writing, I have to have the writing. I, I ask you to have a writing for this for this week, hopefully for today. Remember? Yes? Or you don't remember? About the writing. I told yes, you for yes. Monday. I told you for Monday. So you have the the weekend with no homework. I mean with no this. So I need a writing, please. So we'll finish this lesson. Uh, I mean this unit. I hope you check the vocabulary. And finally, we have lesson the last lesson we are going to we are going to start talking about this hold on please Okay, just let me write here. Unit 12, and we are going to see lesson A today. For lesson A, our learning objective we are going to learn the simple simple past adjective So this is what we are doing today. This is what we are learning today. I hope you have an idea what when we are talking about passive. And we are going to talk and when we are talking about simple past. And the first topic that comes first is about news. Okay, give me one second. So the same, this is the last unit. Okay, can you see my PowerPoint presentation, my slide? Yes? Yes. Yes, All can. right, so we have unit 12 here. Let's read, please. We have lesson A, D, C, and D. So this is the, about the whole unit. I need some volunteers to read each lesson, please. Who wants to start? Me. Okay, Felix, lesson A, please. Lesson A. 
talk about new events using the simple past passes. Okay. Another volunteer for lesson B. Me. Uh, go ahead, please. Lesson B. Talk about natural disaster using the simple past passive must be. Plus by. Uh, must. Please by. By. Yes. Okay, another volunteer for lesson C. Me, teacher. Jessica. Jessica, please go ahead. Lesson C. Use expression like guess what to tell news. Use expression like the thing is to introduce ideas. Okay, introduce. Introduce. Introduce ideas together. Introduce ideas. Introduce ideas. Yes, uh, lesson D. Me, teacher. Maru. Yes, Maru, go ahead. Read an interview with a foreign correspondent, Christian Amam. 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 Write a survey and report statistics. Yeah, write a survey and report statistics. 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 Yes. Okay. Um, question. The user, which one seems more interesting? Lesson A, B, C, or D? Anyone? Lucia? Yes, teacher. Yes, the question. You want me to repeat? Yes, please. Okay. Which lesson seems which lesson seems more interesting? I think lesson. B. Yes, on B. Yeah. Talking about natural, 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 no exactly. natural, natural, natural True. disasters. Disasters. Good. Um, which lesson seems more useful? I said interesting first, now useful. Useful that you, you're going to learn yeah, and it's going to be good for. Yes? I think lesson B. Lesson B? Yes. Okay. Well, all of them are useful. Uh, I just remind you, some of you say lesson, lesson. It's lesson. Lesson, mm -hmm. lesson. So. Excellent. Gloria, which lesson seems uh, more fun to learn? Fun. Teacher, sorry, my stream is very noisy. Uh, lesson C is for me very interesting, interesting teacher. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? We're going to see okay. that expression too. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Okay, guys, what do you see here in the screen? Uh, the pictures. Do you have any idea what you see here? Ideas? Uh, what? Repeat, please. What so, do you see? Yes, Felix. What do you see in the? Can you see the, the screen, right? What do you see in these pictures? Do you have uh, any idea what you see here? The news. The news. Information for the news. Yes, yes. Teacher, or, se le escucha un poco baja la voz. Okay, maybe it's my microphone. Hold on, please. Can you hear me better? Yes. 
Better? Yes. Yes. All right. Um, how many or uh, what can what type of news do we have every day? Can you name some? So the TV. TV. We can see news on TV, right? What kind of news? What what kind of news? Like sport. Uh, Music, what else? Yes, what else? We have news every day, every hour, all day long, right? First, first question is what kind of news do we have now? What is happening around the world? About the weather, teacher? Yes, we were talking about the weather, right? Yeah. It's hurricane. It's hurricane season. Any other type of news? Something that is right now on TV or on Facebook. Twitter, maybe a newspaper. Yes, get. Say again, Ibran. Uh, that's messenger. Yes. Okay. So remember, we have different types of news. We we mentioned like celebrities, right? Uh, music, movies, we have sports, science, social, a few more ideas, social, health, uh, let me write here, we have health, you said sports, you say he uh, social, social. Well, we can say about social media. You see every day news. Tell me what kind of news do you see? Give me ideas. Weather. You mentioned weather. Police. Economy. Education. Financial, right? Financial. Education, Maru? Yes, teacher. Education, right? Like uh, politics. Politics. What else? What else do we see in TV or Facebook or any other? Any other way to learn about news? Politics, what else? Torrings. Say it again. Torrings. Turismo. Ah, tourism. 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 What else? We didn't mention science, right? Empty. Jasmine? Uh, and safety. I didn't, I didn't understand. Uh, insecurity. Okay. Teacher, how do you say disastres naturales in English? Yeah, we just read it. We just read it here, uh, Felix. Okay. Give me one second. Here is natural disasters. Felix. 
Oh, okay. We're going to talk about those in lesson B, like hurricanes, uh, storms, uh, tornadoes, etc. So that's for lesson B. Police. Police. We can say those are like, uh, you know, like, what was it? Like, police or sometimes crimes, right? Sometimes robberies or burglaries. Do you understand this one? Burglaries, robberies and burglaries? Yes or no? Not to share. Robbery is when you are robbed uh, in some way, but they don't use the force. They don't use, they don't hit you. Burglary, this is plural. The both are plural. Burglary is when they enter your house, they break in and they use the force illegally. Let's say at night, they enter your house to rob. Ah, like rob. in the night, they enter illegally, even at night or in daytime. Well, they don't care, right? That's a burglary. This is the singular. The Fashion teacher. When they enter your house, illegal is a break in. So most of the news, some news about uh, like Felix said, Felix said, natural disasters, right? In Mexico, United States, with the actually there was just one uh, tornado near to Illinois, near to Chicago. So uh, tsunami, Enrique hurricane last weekend. That's why it was raining. So sometimes remember when we learn, when, when we listen to the news, it's because we want to know what's happening around the world, right? It could be in your hometown, like in Acapulco, maybe. It could be uh, your hometown, like in Guadalajara or Yucatan or Chiapas, Oaxaca. It could be locally. Those are called local news, right? Local news. We have national news. What else do we have? What else? We have local, national, and what else? International. No. International, news. International, news. International news, right? When we learn uh, uh, about other countries. But remember, well, uh, most of the comments are politics, um, financial, right? Weather. Oh, sometimes you have some shows where you hear about uh, celebrities. Those are nice news, right? Celebrities. Fashion teacher. Fashion. Awesome. Yes, those are nice news we like to hear. Well, to listen to music, movies, um, TV shows, etc. We have many types of news. That's what we do every day. What do you like to hear? Uh, what kind of news is your favorite, uh, Gloria? What do you like to hear on TV or Facebook? For me, teacher is fashion, is teacher or recitals, de cocina, uh, TV shows, and uh, no kind of astronomy.
Maro, what kind of news do you like to, to pay attention to when they, maybe on TV or on internet? Maru. So sometimes we care, about, we care more about some type of news, like, for example, if you like sports, you like soccer, right? They are talking about, oh, America, Cruz Azul, blah, 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 blah. Or they are talking about Facebook, or maybe education, you like to, you know, what's going on with education, if you're a teacher, with science, if you are like a, a savvy, a tech savvy, Maybe Alejandro likes to know about computers because that's what his his feel is about computers, right? Uh, let me see. Let's move on to the next page, please. So you see here, how many pictures do you see here? Three. One, two, four, three, and four. 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 Okay. What do you see in picture number one? Mm, the new. Well, you see someone here. Can you describe the guy, the man? Mm. The man uh, speak for information, the news? Yeah, the, the guy is giving giving the news. Yes. Okay, one more question. Does he seem for the radio or TV? TV. 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 TV, maybe, yes. We are speculating, uh, but it looks more like TV. What do you see in picture number two? Mm, social network. Yeah, uh, we receive news on the on our phone, right? Uh, yes? So one teacher is showing a uh, news. Yes, if we have, for example, we have Google, we receive news every day about what's happening. Yes. That's uh, technology, right? We have it every day. What do you see in picture number three? Um, three. Here. It's like a store and uh, it's a store and you can buy uh, some kind of papers. Yeah, yeah, but what do you see here? There are uh, newspapers. Newspapers. newspapers right? Different yeah. newspapers. Paper. Okay. What about number four? What do you see in this? It's a paper with news about around the world. World news, right? International news. Yes. Can you see what is the news talking about here? Here? Business. Business. Yes. Business. We didn't say business, but we have business too. Okay, these are the three questions. How do you find out about what's going on in the world? That's number one. Which aspects of the news are you most interested in? And what major events are in the news right now? Two, one, two, three. We have three questions. Let's do an example. Hold on. With one question. Uh, who did? Give me an idea about number three. Question number three, teacher? Yes. 
Okay, what major events are in the news right now? I think it's about the pandemic. Yes, the vaccines, right? Yes. Around the world. Around the world, teacher. Yeah. Um, yes, can you give me an idea about number two? Which aspect of the news are you most interested in? Okay. I think in sports and health and gastronomy. Sport, health, and gastronomy. Gastronomy, nice. Okay, Hebra, number one. Hi. Uh, this question means what you use for the news. How do you get to know the news? Uh, I usually see it in uh, social network. Right, online. Uh, yes, online. Online, maybe Facebook. Uh, YouTube. Yeah. Yes, yes, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Yes, excellent. Okay, give me just one second. All right, we're going to start lesson A, local news. So it means, what does it mean, local news? Uh, Gloria, what do you understand for local news? Um, so for local news is the, the news on my neighbor on my on my city on my state yes correct the city or in your hometown where you live right so yeah. let's uh, yes you say something kibran uh, Say it again. Uh, for example, uh, local news. The local news, yes. Well, as I said before, we are going to learn the simple, um, simple past passive. Hold on, please. Uh oh. Well, if you pay attention, we are going to listen and then we're going to read. If you pay attention, you will see some sentences here. With simple, fast. It's called, this is called like passive boys. I may, maybe you know this one. Remember in the past in the in the sentences we have active voice. For example, let's talk about past. I wrote some letters. 
Yes, that's active voice. So that means we are using subject, verb, in past tense, a quantifier, and then we use an object, right? This is the predicate of the sentence. It's a short sentence. So this is the subject. This is the object, right? This is the active voice. I wrote some letters. Easy. But if I use passive voice, the object in this case, letters, letters becomes a subject. So we start some letters. Is it singular or plural? Letters. Plural teacher. Plural. 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 Was or where? Where. Where. Yes. Where? Where. Where. What is the past participle of write? Written. Written. Some letters were written. Yes? That's an example. The police. The police caught a thief yesterday. Easy. That's active voice. How we change it into passive voice? Here the was yes. They remember this is a subject and the object active. And you have the verb here in the middle. Okay, say it again. Who can convert this sentence into a passive? Simple past passive. I say simple past because we are using past tense here, right? A thief was. Cut. Was cut. Yesterday. We could use by the police if, if you want to mention doer. So in this lesson, we are going to see many examples of the same. So please pay attention. We are going to listen. Hold on, please. That's, let's go to the page. One eighteen. But for now, I want you to close your books. No books. Even if your camera is off, no books, just listen. Just listen, pay attention, try to understand the conversation. This conversation is about between Ruth and Jack, and they are talking about news, right? Something that happened. It already happened, so it's past tense. Please pay attention. But don't cheat, no books. I am not seeing you, but please, no books.
Okay, so it's page one hundred eighteen, unit twelve, in the news, lesson A, local news. Okay, how is the sound? Can you hear that? Yeah. It's low. It's low, teacher. It's telling the room it's so it's low. low. It's low. Okay, give me one unit second, 12. please. I should ride the bus more often. Yeah, and listen to this. How does it sound now? Sounds better? Okay, from the beginning, please. Page 118, unit 12, in the news. Lesson A, local news. One, get started. B, listen, check. Telling the room it's some local news. Complete the sentences. Anything interesting in the paper? Oh, not much. Let's see. Uh, $10,000 was found in a bag on a city bus. $10,000? I should ride the bus more often. Yeah, and listen to this. Two large bears were seen last night in someone's yard. Huh, that's kind of scary. Oh, and a jewelry store was broken into, and some diamonds were stolen. Uh, what else? City airports were closed yesterday because of strong winds. Really? Well, it was pretty windy. Yeah, all the flights were delayed. Oh, and a bus was hit by a falling tree. Unfortunately, the passengers weren't hurt. Is that all? Nothing exciting, I guess. Okay, one more time, please. Now listen and write. Pay attention. Page 118, unit 12, in the news. Lesson A, local news. One, get started. B, listen. Jack is telling the room it's some local news. Sentences. Anything interesting in the paper? Oh, not much. Let's see. Uh, $10,000 was found in a bag on a city bus. $10,000? I should ride the bus more often. Yeah, and listen to this. Two large bears were seen last night in someone's yard. Huh, that's kind of scary. Oh, and a jewelry store was broken into. And some diamonds were stolen. Uh, what else? The city airport was closed yesterday because of strong winds. Really? Well, it was pretty windy. Yeah, all the flights were delayed. Oh, and a bus was hit by a falling tree. Unfortunately, the passengers weren't hurt. Is that all? Nothing exciting, I guess.
Okay, let's see. Here. Yes, can you see it? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. All right, you see this couple, right? There's a woman and a man. What are they doing? They read the newspaper. Okay. They are talking about some news. Some news, okay. What happened in the news? What are they reading about? See the, uh, the first innocent. Give me some kind of news. In a park. The, the in a park. city airport was closed. Okay. What else? Um, the jewelry store was broken. Was broken. Uh, the Fly were delayed. Delayed, yes. Delayed. delayed. Okay, the first example of passive. What is here? Ten thousand dollar was found in a bag on a city bus, right? So we need very being past tense, and we need the past participle. We'll see the grammar in a bit. Okay, what else did you see the, another passive? Here, two, two large bears were seen, were seen last night in someone's yard. The word is store was broken. Yes. Let me move this over here. A jewelry store was broken. So it's singular, right? A jewelry, jewelry store was. We are using was because since it's singular. You see, when we use plural, we have plural, we use where. And a jewelry store was broken into. And some diamonds were stolen. Okay, what is the next sentence in passive? The city airport was closed. Was closed, yes. Airport. The city airport was closed yesterday. The flights were delayed. All the flights were delayed. We have a plural here, flights. Where? What is the next sentence? A bus was hit by a filing. Another singular. And a bus was hit, past participle, by a falling tree. What is the next sentence? The passengers were hurt. The passengers were hurt. Yes, so this is a passive. Pass, simple pass, passive voice. I tell you because we have, there, are, there is present, past, future, and model. Etc. We're going to see that later, but for now, let's read a little bit. Let's practice some reading. Okay, who wants to volunteer? Me. Felix, your route. Who else? Who else? And me, teacher. Jack. Start okay. 
Anything interesting in the paper? Oh, not much. Let's see. Uh, 10,000 was found in a park on a city bus. 10,000? I should ride the bus more often. Yeah, and listen to this. Two large bears were seen last night in someone's yard. Uh, that's kind of strong. Scary. Oh, and, uh, okay. oh, and a jewelry store was broken into, and some diamonds were stolen. And what else? Uh, the city airport was closed yesterday because of a strong winds. Really? Well, it was pretty windy. Yeah, all the flights were delicate. Oh, and a bus was hit by a falling tree. Fortunately, the passengers weren't hurt. It's that all. Nothing exciting, I guess. Okay, good, thank you. Just remember to fix those little words like exciting. Exciting, sorry. Exciting, exciting. Yes. I didn't yes. remember. Okay, Jasmine, delayed, delayed. Sound the this okay. sound again, delayed. Delayed, okay. Yeah, remember this is pronounced airport. Airport, no airport. Okay. This word is scary. Scary. The okay. same with store. All the words with an S at the beginning, like this one. Scary. No scary. Store. Store. Remember when we use this, when we have these uh, words with an S at the beginning, we try to link the sounds. That kind of scary, scary, of scary. scary. You see, we link of scary. scary. Same way, say, so jewelry store. Like we put it together. Jewelry, jewelry store. Yes? Please try to focus on those on those uh, words. We try to practice them, repeat them. Okay, two more volunteers, please. For Ruth and Jack. Me teacher. Me teacher, Jessica. Jessica and Kibran. Kibran, you're Ruth, Jessica, you're Jack. Okay. Yes, teacher. Anything interesting in the paper? Oh, no, Max. Let's see. Um, this thousand was found in 10,000 was found in about on a city bus. 10,000? I shall write the bus more often. Yeah. And listen to this. Two large birds were seen last night in someone's yard. Mm, that's skin of that, that skin scary. Scary. Oh and a journalist store was broken into and some diamonds were stolen and um, what else? The city airport was closed yesterday because of strong winds. Really? Well, it was very windy. windy. Yeah, all the flights were delayed oh, and a bus was hit by a falling tree. Fortunately, the passengers weren't hurt. It's a, oh, nothing exciting, I guess. 
All right, good. Thank you. Uh, the same. Boss, no bull. Kind, no kin. Yuri, Yuri. Closed, closed. Same bus, bus. Unfortunately, fortunately. The, the stress is in the O, oh, fortunately. Fortunately, no A. Fortunately, fortunately. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes just remember yes. to review those words so you cannot do it again. Um, like this one, you always say keen, kind. There isn't a word in English, but it's a different meaning. And it's also king. We have king and we have king. This is kind. So please pay attention to those. The same with the verbs ending in ed. Not all of them are like closed. It's closed, closed, played. So just practice, it's just practice. All right, let's continue, please. We are going to work on this. This is on the reading. Uh, how often do you read local news, Gloria? Um, I, okay. Um, every day, teacher, every day I, I sorry, <laughs> uh, I read local news in Google, in, 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 new, uh, in paper, and others, teacher, every day. Every day, all right. Every day. Alejandro, what local news have you read, have you read recently? I usually in the morning, no. Pay attention to the question. What local news have you read recently? ¿Qué noticias locales has leído recientemente? Yes. Um, no, no, no translate, just tell me the news. Local news. News in Acapulco. Um, sí. Mm, sí. I don't remember exactly, um, but the weather. About the weather? Yes. Um, sí. Phenom. Phenomenon. And phenomenon in the sea. Yeah, remember when we watch the weather, we like to use the forecast, right? What's going to happen? It's going to be raining this week. Uh, it's going to be hot. It's going to be cold. So that's the forecast. Yes? The forecast, the, forecast, the forecast is the one you see on TV or whatever, where you see the, um, if it's raining, how many degrees, if it's uh, 30, 32, uh, yesterday, like yesterday we were like 20, 28, right? 26, the temperature. 
So the forecast is, the, is, 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 is what we do, what we see, the forecast. I mean, we see in one week before or one day before how the weather is going to be, let's say, like tomorrow. Okay. Like if we want to know what's going to happen tomorrow, let's see, let's do the forecast. Okay, excellent. Um, give me one second, please. Okay, you have to complete here in exercise B. But Jack is telling Ruth some local news, completed sentences. You have questions from one to three, I mean, from one to five. Find it, find them here. Yes? The question number one, of course, is at the beginning. Someone found Did you see these sentences? Did you see these sentences are in active voice? These sentences are in active voice. They are in active voice. Let me write it here. Okay, let's do number one. I'm sorry. I should be here. Number one, who, who can give me number one? Someone found. In a bus. A bus. In a city bus. A bus. Ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars. Keep doing the rest, two, three, four, and five, please. K means thousand, remember. Okay, number two, who wants to do number two? Anyone? Check the reading, the conversation. There were two birds in a yard. Okay, number three. A thief broke into a, a jewelry. Jewelry. Store. Jewelry store. Store. Okay, say again, jewelry. 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 Yes. Jewelry. Uh -huh. You uh, let me see here. Mm, me number four. Okay, Felix. The airport had to close because of a strong wind. Because strong 
wings. Strong wings. Okay, number five. A falling a tree. Falling tree. Hit a bat. A falling tree. Hit a. Bus. A bus. Yes. yes. Okay, let's continue, please. So these are active voice, remember, these sentences from one to five. Now, without seeing, no see, don't see the conversation. Use the passive voice. Okay, let's do this better. You have the five sentences. That should be easier. They are in active voice. In the conversation here, they are in passive voice, right? So you already change it. Exercise C, complete the second sentence so it means the same as the first. Use the conversation above to help you. What do you notice about the verbs? Here, the first one is active voice, same in past tense. Someone broke into a jewelry store. Change it, please. Change, it, change the second sentence. Here. A jewelry store was broken by broken. someone. Broke. Broke. Was. Broke. Broken. Broken. We don't have to mention by someone because we don't have a name, right? So by someone is not important. We just know, I mean, we don't care. We just know that someone broke uh, the jewelry store. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to mention by someone. We'll see that later when we have names on someone and the name is, is, is important to mention. Number two, a falling tree hit a bus. A bus was, was, was falling. Was falling. A bus was was hit. Was hit. By falling tree. Well, here it's important to mention it was hit by a falling tree, right? Was hit by a falling tree. Yes. Number three. Someone saw two birds last night. Two bears were seen last night. Were seen. Last night. Excellent. Plural, singular, remember. We always need verb be for the passive boy. Verb be and the uh, past participle for the main verb. Number four. What? Some diamonds were stolen. Stolen. Were stolen. Yeah. Were stolen. stolen. Yes, we have diamonds. 
Number five. Where? Where and how the passengers were hurt in the accident. Where the passengers were hurt in the accident. Because we have didn't, right? Didn't is a past tense and the negative form. Weren't hurt in the, the accident. The accident. Yes. Excellent. So you have an idea about this passive form? Give me just one second, please. <clears throat> Can you see the book? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let's listen. Uh, let's listen to the grammar part, the grammar chart, and then we'll discuss it one by one. Let's do it in page 119, please. Excuse me, are you able to listen to? Yes? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Subject is the receiver of an action. Use active verbs to focus on the doer or cause. In sentences with passive verbs, the subject is the receiver of the action. Let's Use let's listen from the beginning. To focus on the receiver or the doer or cause. Page 119. Grammar, simple past passive. In sentences with active verbs, the subject is the doer and the object is the receiver of an action. Use active verbs to focus on the doer or cause. In sentences with passive verbs, the subject is the receiver of the action. Use passive verbs to focus on the receiver or when the doer or cause is not known or not important. A student found a bag on a bus. A bag was found on a bus. The authorities closed the airport. The airport was closed. A teenager saw two bears in a yard. Two bears were seen in a yard. The accident didn't injure the passengers. The passengers weren't injured. All right, one more time, please pay attention to the verb. Here they use only the past, simple past, right? This is a normal sentence. This is called active, active sentence. So we have the subject, that's the doer, the doer, and the object, in this case is a bus, right? The receiver. These are the normal questions in past tense. The authorities closed the airport, but when we change that into a passive, the object in this case becomes a subject, like a bag. A bag was found on a bus, right? We don't know who, it says here by a student, but we don't mention. A bag was found on a bus. 
The authorities closed the airport. The airport was closed. A teenager saw two birds in a year. Two birds were seen in a year. Same, singular, plural. Here we can see we have a past tense auxiliary negative form. They did the accident, didn't injure the passengers. The passengers weren't injured. You see here that we use verb be all the time, was or were, or weren't, or wasn't, depending. And we always need the past participle. If it's regular verb, like close, or irregular, like find or found. Okay, it's six o'clock. Do you have five minutes? You wanna continue? You wanna continue? Um, we can do it tomorrow if you want. <clears throat> we'll do it tomorrow? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes. Yes. All right, yes, so we'll continue tomorrow at the same time. All right, questions? Okay, Comments? teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Okay. No, no. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for your time and see you tomorrow at the same, 4 30. Thank you. 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 Thank